Hello from Victoria's beautiful State Library. You might remember on Monday night's program we visited three different households in Melbourne to hear what they were hoping for from the budget. Tim and Sarah Whitehead have two children who Sarah stays home to look after. They're worried about cost of living pressures. Sharon and Paul Redmond live in a rented house because they can't afford to buy. Sharon's on a disability support pension and Paul runs a small gardening business. And Irving Stevens is a self-funded retiree and former school principal. They've all paid close attention to the budget and they're here with me now to give us their verdicts. Welcome to all of you. Let me start with you, Tim and Sarah. You told us on Monday that cost of living is a pretty constant pressure. Did you see much in the budget that you think will help you out? There were a few carrots, but the, the main impact of the budget seems to be that the government has decided to freeze the family tax benefit, um, which is netting them $2 billion over the next four years. That's $2 billion that isn't then in the pockets of families, and I think it's at a time when we have very real cost of living pressures uh, amongst families. So I think that's, that's going to be a huge cost. Tim, what stood out to you? Oh, that was one of the big things that stood out, and I think it means that the big winners from the budget will be caravan parks, because that's where we're going to take our holidays for the next three years. <laughs> uh, the other thing that stood out was I was very pleased with what they did about health. Uh, it was really good to see so much extra funding for disability services. To go from $700 million to $2.2 billion is a really good recognition of the importance of that area. The unfortunate thing is that they're so keen to get the budget back and balanced by 2013 that a lot of that spending is not going to happen until 2014 and later, and that's a bit disappointing. Irving, on this point about the surplus and the budget being in surplus, is that something that's important to you? Yes, I believe so, but uh, I suspect it's uh, better for the budget to go into deficit on occasions when it can provide uh, the necessary additional social services. So what did you think overall of the budget this year? Oh, I'm relatively pleased about it. I think it's tried to uh, develop an environment of uh, a healthy uh, economic environment, which is uh, good for business, good for profits, good for superannuation, good for returns to self-funded retirees. A pretty selfish approach, I know, but that's the reality of it. So overall, when you look at it, does it make you better off, worse off, about the same? Oh, I'm glad you gave me the other alternative, about the same, reasonably comfortable, I suggest. OK. Um, Sharon, Tim mentioned before extra funding for um, disabilities. What, how does the budget affect you? I don't think it affects me at all. There has been no change. If I was to go to work uh, two or three days a week, I would be at a disadvantage. I, it would cost me more in medications um, and I wouldn't be able to make any headway. There's also been a lot of uh, funding dropped off if you want to become a leader or have a voice as a person with a disability, you're really at the mercy of the bureaucrats. You can, you can take a job in a supermarket or, or do a, a low-level job, but there is nothing there for moving ahead. Well, one of the things that the Treasurer was emphasising is that he wants to try to get all sorts of people back into work, and you've told us that you're very keen to get into work. It, do you see nothing in the budget that you think is going to help you be able to do that? No, if I'd like to, to get ahead and have a career, I don't see anything there that can assist me. Paul, what about you with your small business? What, did the budget deliver anything for you? Very little. Um, there's, yeah, I don't think things have changed much at all. There's a $5,000 um, help. Uh, pre-tax for uh, assets so if you want to get in some new assets there's a little bit of help there but apart from that there's not a lot for me. One of the things that they're spending a bit of money on is education. Um, Sarah you were saying that that's an issue that you care a lot about. What did you think about the education part of the budget? My main concern about the education package is the um, benefit for individual teachers. I think in a, an environment where we're trying to build community, we're trying to build skills amongst teachers and for them to support each other, I think it's